We know that all dogs are wonderful in their own way, but let's be real, some breeds are simply more challenging than others, especially for first-time dog owners. Welcome back to our channel, Pets Connection, where we talk about all things canine. Today, we're diving into a topic that might be a little more controversial, but it's important to address difficult dog breeds. In this video, we'll be discussing the eight worst dog breeds for first-time owners. Now, we know that some of you might have strong opinions on this topic, so that's totally fine. We're not here to judge anyone's dog or any of their ownership choices. They just require a certain level of experience and commitment that not all first-time owners might be ready for. So first-time owner considering which breed might be right for you, this video is for you. Get ready to learn about some of the most challenging and but also fascinating dog breeds out there. Let's dive in. Number eight, Siberian Husky. Siberian Huskies are often considered one of the most challenging breeds for first-time dog owners. Huskies are known for their independent, stubborn nature, which can make them difficult to train. Huskies have a strong prey drive, which means they may not be suitable for households with smaller pets such as cats or rabbits. They also have a reputation for being escape artists as they're skilled at finding ways to break free from yards or leashes. They're loyal, affectionate, and playful, and their unique personalities and striking appearance make them a popular choice for dog owners. If you are a first-time dog owner, consider getting a husky. Number 7. Chow Chows while Chow Chows are known for their loyalty and protective nature, they can be a challenging breed for first-time dog owners. Chow Chows have a reputation for being aggressive towards strangers and other dogs, which can be a concern for households with frequent visitors or other pets. This can be a time-consuming thing and a very costly process to maintain their thick, fluffy coat as well. However, with proper socialization, training, and grooming, Chow Chows can make very loving and devoted companions. It's important for potential owners to thoroughly research the breed and consider their own experience, lifestyle, and resource before committing to a Chow Chow. Otherwise, they can be very aggressive, so be careful with that. Working with a professional trainer or behaviorist can also be helpful in navigating any challenges in, well, that area. Number six, Afghan Hounds. Afghan hounds are a breed of dog that originated in Afghanistan and were originally bred for hunting large prey, such as gazelles and hares. Afghan hounds are independent dogs that can be difficult to train due to their stubborn nature. They can also be sensitive to correction or harsh training methods, which may not be suitable for novice owners. They have a high drive for being a, well, for, well the prey drive, of course, which means they may not be suitable for households with smaller pets. They also have a tendency to roam and wander, which can be a concern for owners who do not have a secure yard or live in a busy area. Overall, Afghan hounds can make wonderful pets for experienced dog owners who are prepared to devote this time and resources needed for care to them properly. Number five, Bull Mastiff. The Bull Mastiff is a large breed of dog that was originally developed in England and in the 19th century. They were bred to be a powerful guard dog capable of taking down intruders without necessarily injuring them. Despite their intimidating appearance, bull mastiffs are typically gentle and affectionate with their families. They're also known for being calm and relaxed around children, of course, and other pets. Although their size and strength mean they should always be supervised while interacting with smaller animals. While bull mastiffs can make wonderful pets, they may not be the best choice for the first-time dog owner. Due to their large size and strength, they require an experienced owner who can handle and train them properly. They require consistent and patient training as well as regular exercise and socialization to help them develop good behavior and prevent aggression. Number 4. Rottweiler Rottweilers are a breed of large powerful dogs that were originally developed in Germany. They were bred to herd livestock and pull carts and they have a strong work ethic and protective nature. They're intelligent and trainable but they require consistent and firm training to prevent any potential aggression. While Rottweilers can be loving and affectionate with their families, their size Add strength mean that they are not always a good fit for families with small children or elderly individuals. Rottweilers are a popular and powerful loyal breed of dog that can make wonderful pets. If you are a first time dog owner, you are considering getting a Rottweiler, it is important to do your research and prepare yourself for the commitment that comes with owning a large and powerful dog. Number three, Sharpe. The Sharpe is a breed of dog that originated in China. They're known for their distinctive wrinkled skin, which gives them a unique and memorable appearance. Sharpays are medium-sized dogs, typically weighing between 40 to 60 pounds. Their most distinguishing feature is their wrinkled skin, which can sometimes require extra care to prevent skin infections. Sharpays are loyal and affectionate dogs, but they can be reserved with strangers and other animals. They require socialization and training from a young age to help them develop good behavior and prevent any potential aggression. Despite their independent nature, Sharpays are typically low-energy dogs that do not require a lot of exercise. 
They require a bit of care and attention due to their wrinkled skin. And they do the best with their experienced owners who can provide them with the socialization and training they need. Number two, Basset Hound. The Basset Hound is a breed of dog that originated in France. They're known for their long droopy ears and their short legs, which give them a distinctive and lovable appearance. Basset Hounds are medium-sized dogs, typically weighing between 40 to 60 pounds. They have a short, dense coat that can have, well, that can be any combination of black, white, tan, and brown. They're known for their excellent sense of smell, which makes them good hunting dogs. They are generally good-natured and friendly dogs. They are known for their gentle and patient temperament, which makes them good family pets, especially for families with children. However, they can be stubborn and independent at times, which can make training a challenge for the first-time owners. They're gentle and loving dogs that thrive in a family environment, and they are known for their loyalty and affection. However, they do require some extra care and attention, particularly when it comes to training and exercise. Number 1. Pitbull Pitbulls are a powerful and energetic breed of dog that can make powerful and wonderful pets, but they may not be best choice for first-time dog owners. Pitbulls require an experienced and responsible handler to properly train and manage them. If you are a first-time dog owner and you are considering getting a pitbull, it is important to do your research and prepare yourself for the commitment that comes with owning a large and a strong dog. It is also important to be aware of the potential health issues that can affect pitbulls, such as hip dysplasia, allergies and skin infections. Regular visits to the veterinarian and a proper diet and exercise regime can help prevent or manage these conditions. Overall, while pit bulls can make loving and loyal pets, they do require an experienced and responsible owner who is committed to providing them with the proper care and training that they need. In conclusion, while dogs can be wonderful and rewarding pets, it is important to choose the right breed for your lifestyle and experience level. Some breeds are more challenging than others and may not be the best choice for the first time dog owners. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel for videos.